Okay, start again. Okay, there's this farmer and his wife. And they're a deep thing. But next to the farm, and belonging to the farm, is a big forest. Uh, but the man himself, the farmer, has become too old to go out and chop wood. But he has three sons. It's Per, Paul, and Espen, the ash lad. And uh, he was called the ash lad because he was always sitting by the fireplace and breaking fire and playing with the fire with the coals. So he always had like ash on his hands and on his face. <coughs> so, but the farmer, he, he, he told his sons that, yeah, you guys need to go out and chop some wood. And, uh, you, you know, to pay off the debt. <coughs> so, Per, the oldest one, says, okay, I'll go. And uh, he goes out into the forest. His mother packs him with a lot of fish and he has all the equipment and needs snacks and all this stuff. He goes out into the forest, finds a nice tree, and starts chopping. And then he hears a sound like, like thunder. And it's a fucking fall. Around him, huge fucking troll screaming at him, saying, Who is chopping wood in my forest? And he pisses himself and he runs home to his mom. And his father is really disappointed and saying, Ah, oh, the trolls didn't scare me when I was young. So the next day, the second eldest son, Paul, um, wants to try to go out into the forest chop some wood and pay down the debts. So he gets an axe and his mother packs him a really nice lunch and goes out into to the forest. Finds a nice tree. Starts chopping and he hears the, the, the thunder of, of the footsteps of the troll. And this roaring voice saying, who is chopping wood in my forest? And, and he doesn't even turn around. He just shits himself, drops the axe, and runs for his life. So, and he comes home and uh, crying, and, and uh, his mother tries to comfort him, and his dad says, to him, well, the trolls never scared me when I was a young boy. And then uh, Espen says, uh, well, I would, I would have to try my luck tomorrow. Can I go? And everybody's like, ah, psh, you good for nothing. Yeah, no, there's no point in you going out. But he, he begs his mother to, 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 to give him like a little piece of cheese and go out into the forest. So he, he uh, takes his little sack and a piece of cheese and he goes out into the forest. He gets an axe, finds a nice tree and starts chopping. And then he hears the thunderous feet of, of the troll. And he looks up and he sees the troll and the troll is like, who is chopping wood in my forest? And then Espen, he runs over to his, to his little knapsack and he pulls out the piece of cheese. And he says to the troll, well, you'd better watch it or I'll squeeze the juice out of you like I squeeze this white rock. And he squeezes it, and the juice just comes flowing. And the troll goes, oh no, don't do that. Oh, I'll, I'll help you. <laughs> so, so the troll helps him chopping down the, the wood. And and they really, they get a lot of work done and, and chop up all this wood. And, and it's been thinking, oh wow, this is gonna be enough to, to pay down the debt. But it's getting late. So the troll says, Well, my home is closer than your home. So why don't you come home with me and we can eat some porridge? And I suppose says, Yeah, sure. We'll go home to your house. So they go out to the to the troll's house in the forest. Up in the mountain. And uh, the 
Joel says, oh, well, uh, I'll start a fire and you can go get some water. And you can use those those buckets there. And, and uh, Esper looks at the buckets and they're like huge iron buckets and he knows he's not going to be able to lift those. <laughs> so he goes, well, I'm not going to use those thimbles. I'm, I'm going to go for the well itself. And, and the troll goes, oh no, don't, don't do that. Oh, I'll go get the water. You start the fire. So Edmund gets the, the, the fire going and the uh, troll goes back with the water and then they cook some porridge. And then uh, Esmond says, hey, but you and me haven't eaten cocktails yet. Huh? And the troll's thinking, yeah, I'm going to eat it. I'll beat this scrawny little fella eating. This is what I'm good at. So yeah, let's let's have an eating contest. So they start eating. So and Espen, is a pretty smart kid, he puts his knapsack on, on the front of his belly. So every time he takes a spoonful of porridge, drops some in his sack. And then, and they eat, and they eat, and they eat, and they eat, and then at a certain point, the, the knapsack is full. So, uh, Espen, he, he pulls out his knife, and he takes a hole in it, cuts a hole in the knapsack, and the porridge comes flowing out, and he continues, continues eating. And, and the troll is, is now getting, like, a bit full. And he's like, oh, I don't know if I can eat anymore. Oh, how can you eat so much? And uh, Espen says, yeah, well, just do like me and cut a hole in your stomach and you can eat as much as you want. So the troll brings out his sword, cuts open his belly, and dies. So Espen takes all the silver and gold that was in the troll's hoard and goes home and pays off his family's debt and lives happily ever after. Zip stops new tuck, so I'm to do it.